A jury selection began today in a Minnesota murder trial that is making headlines around the world. Former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor faces murder and manslaughter charges for shooting Justine Rushtik Damon in 2017. Fallout from the deadly encounter sparked protests and cost the city's police chief her job. WCCO's Reg Chapman joins us now from the courthouse with a decision that attorneys now have to make. Reg? Amelia, because this case has international interest, many experts believe it may be hard to seat a jury. But today, 75 potential jurors were given a number and this 18 page questionnaire to fill out. They'll be called back in smaller groups on Wednesday to decide who gets to hear testimony in this case. Potential jurors were told how the process works and the charges Muhammad Noor faces. They were told to expect the trial to last three to four weeks, a bit longer than most trials that take about two weeks. Jurors will be referred to by number, their identity kept confidential for their protection. Security is tight during these proceedings. Even potential jurors had to go through a second round of security screenings inside the Hennepin County Courthouse. There are only 28 seats in the courtroom, as was pointed out earlier. Only four of those are reserved for Justine's family, and for them to avail themselves of those seats, they actually have to climb over members of Mr. Norris' family. A coalition of social justice organizations gathered downstairs of the courthouse asking for the judge and chief judge to move the trial to a bigger courtroom and to allow all to view graphic evidence, not just the jury. And look around at this, at this coalition of friends. You see, these aren't just white people standing up for their friend, there's a diverse crowd here, meaning that these folks have sense enough to know that right is right and wrong is wrong. And I want the world to know that we stand united. This unified group of activists hope they are standing here for the last time, that there will be changes and that their voices will be heard. It does not end here if there is a conviction. This should be the beginning of a new paradigm in which officers are held accountable, irrespective of who they kill. Now, Muhammad Noor has pled not guilty to second and third degree murder charges, as well as second degree manslaughter charges. That 18 page questionnaire that potential jurors got today included personal questions like, where do you live in Hennepin County? And background information like, do you know anyone of Somali descent?